Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending September 14th. This first article comes from Clash 230. This is from the carconnection.com. This is a system um, built by Isao Nakanishi, and it's the brainwave car system where it uses brainwaves to actually um, allow your car to be able to start. It's kind of an interesting article, but the first thing that I thought about, too, is all the different ways this could end up being bad, and they actually talk about it in the article, too, and I think some of the people in the comments as well. I don't think I would like a car that required me to stay with it to be running because suppose somebody does want to take your car from you or carjack you or something like that. That would be the worst thing in the world because instead of uh, asking you to jump out of the car and they take the car and they're gone, you would have to stay with the car and basically be held hostage too. So um, until they come up with, plus plus the, um, the other thing too is suppose you want somebody to borrow your car, there has to be some way easily to to bypass the system to allow a friend to hop in your car and go make go run an errand or something like that when you would uh, not want to drive your car or something like that. So um, a good system maybe to be used for other things, but I don't think for people's personal cars it will really take place. But still an interesting article, and this is from Japan's Totori University. This next one's from uh, KD4YSI Tony. This is an update. I I done an article before about the tracking point aiming system. It's quite expensive. It's five figures, as a matter of fact. They started over ten thousand dollars. This is where you have a a rifle, a scope, and a computer system that operate together. And when you go to pull the trigger, it won't actually fire until it calculates you're going to hit the exact point you're aiming for. Um, this is actually uh, a promotional video, but it also gives you the reference. What I'll do is I'll actually just post the YouTube channel. Tracking Point has a YouTube channel, and they've got quite a few videos talking about the system if, you, if anybody is actually interested. I think it's priced out of any normal person's budget. This must be for a military or very wealthy people or something like that. But this is an update on the Tracking Point system. And uh, next of all, this is when I went to, uh, the next article is when I went to downtown Chicago and I noticed they have an e-bike system there. So I'm going to cut to uh, the, uh, the bit that I did when I was in downtown Chicago. So take a look and check this out. Okay, this is an on-the-spot TDD report. Let me get out of the wind here. And basically we're in downtown Chicago. Right now we're on Madison Canal. And we're at a spot here where you can rent electric bicycles, electric pedal assist bicycles. Somebody just actually dropped one off. That guy there in the suit just dropped one off. But here, take a look at him. Don't have any idea what do they have the price listed there? Seven bucks. Seven bucks for twenty-four hours. Seven dollars for twenty-four hours. And my tight credit card. Yeah. Unlimited trips up to thirty minutes in duration. So check this out. If you want to get with the uh, new lean and green, come downtown Chicago and get you an electric bicycle. I like them. And next up, this is some 1965 type technology, but I think it's just cool in the way it's used in this building for uh, for loading trucks. So I got a chance, uh, my buddy Big Bill Chicago showed me this, and uh, check it out. It's pretty interesting. Okay, we're down in the loading dock of the AT&T building, and it actually has a working turntable. So the trucks can actually pull in, flip around, unload, and then flip back if they have to. So. And when was, what, why don't you give me a little bit of the detail you just were talking about? Well, it was built by the outfit that uh, does roundhouses for trains normally. Okay. And we can put a 26-foot truck on it, rotate it around, line them up with a stall, and the driver just back straight back into it. When he leaves, we turn him around, and because we've got all these columns and stuff here, uh, it'd be impossible to try to wide turn her in. We can point him towards the door, and he pull right out again. Makes a nice feature for getting delivery trucks in and out of this place. Cool, so check this out. How's that for nice? Not necessarily new technology, but very effective technology. Well, this was a piece of work when they put it in in 1965. 1965. And we've had it built one time since, so. Much, right in there. Bet you the truck drivers love this. Oh yeah, it makes it a lot easier on them. And that's it for this week. Take care, everybody. I will catch you next week.